you crash into an electric pole okay. and the line falls, you'll get electrocuted if you just step out of the car. Uh, electrical safety discussions this happen all the time at nuclear plants. You're not guaranteed to be electrocuted. It depends on whether the fall of mine is still energized and whether there's a voltage difference between the car and the ground, but you want to assume it still is. That's because touching the car and the ground at the same time creates a circuit. The car's metal body can become energized and float at a high voltage relative to ground. And yes, if you touch it, your body becomes the conductor and allows it to flow to that lower potential. Think of reactor containment at high pressure. Current is like steam, it flows when there's a pressure difference, not just because it wants to escape. This means the electricity will travel through the car and into your body as it tries to reach the ground. Instead, jump out with both feet together without touching the vehicle. Jumping clear ensures you don't simultaneously contact the car and ground, and it reduces the step potential or the difference in voltage between two points on the ground with your feet together. Now the ground around the mm. car could still be active. Like concentric ripples of voltage. And if you take regular steps, your legs could actually create another circuit. At the nuclear plant, we train workers to shuffle or hop to avoid this specific hazard. So keep your feet together, shuffle away slowly, and don't stop until you're far from the wires. 10 to 12 meters away is a good rule of thumb. Though you should probably stay in the car and call emergency services if you have that option.